Well, hello everybody. Welcome to another episode of Pepper the Pointer. I'm Larry. With me as always here is Pep. And uh, we're very excited to be out here uh, broadcasting another episode of Pepper the Pointer. And the reason we're so excited is because we haven't hunted birds in about six weeks. Uh, you know, in Illinois, we had uh, a pretty busy month in November. Uh, we had the first gun season, shotgun season, uh, the week before Thanksgiving. Then we had Thanksgiving. Then we had the second gun season. Then we had muzzleloader. So we had really good success on the deer um, during one, the, that first uh, gun season. Have a look at what we were able to get here. Not a, not a bad looking deer there, so that was very nice. Um, so what we're gonna do is focus on birds from now on. We're gonna hunt, um, uh, today's December 31st. It is New Year's Eve, so happy new year to everybody. Hope you all had a Merry Christmas. Um, we're gonna focus on all of January on bird hunting. We're not gonna really get uh, on the deer that much anymore. Um, we got the freezer full, we got a nice book as you saw there. So uh, we're gonna turn to bird hunting. Pepper is very excited to get on some birds. Um, you know, she's still a young dog, as you guys know, she's a little over a year old. So we're going to focus on just keeping her on top of birds every weekend. Maybe sometimes if we're lucky, we'll get on, um, you know, maybe Saturday and Sunday. Uh, but today is Friday, so we are going to get her out here uh, and uh, see, what, um, see what she remembers from a little over a month ago. Um, now, we're actually in a, a, a similar farm. We're actually at the same farm, but we're in a really uh, a brand new location. We've never hunted this spot before. Um, uh, the, the farmers told us it's a, it's a very, very huge, large field. It's, it's about a half mile walk to get there. So that'll give Pepper some time to, to get some of the excitement out and get us there. So uh, from what he tells me, there's a lot of strips that are still standing out there, some of the Milo and, and things that you've seen on the channel before. So we're gonna get out there. We're going to uh, get after uh, some birds out there, hopefully have some good luck and, and really just have fun with Pepper, get her out there um, and see how she does. Now. Uh, today it's very foggy. Uh, it's it's also about 50 degrees, so it's a little bit warmer than we like. So uh, that's okay. We're going to get out there. Uh, we, we won't hunt her too hard. You know, if we go an hour and a half, that that maybe will be about it. We'll we'll see how she does. We got plenty of water that we carry for, so that's no problem. Uh, not a whole lot of wind either, so we're going to have to just kind of take a feel of that when we get out there and see how that goes. So. Uh, with that said, uh, we're looking forward to it. Hopefully you guys will too. Thanks for watching and let's roll that intro. spur we got today uh, was a hen and uh, we're allowed to shoot hens out here but take a look what happens uh, when I shoot this bird so pepper goes on point as you'll see bird gets up and I shoot it and we thought it was down have a look at what happens next okay we've got uh, coming up onto a really nice looking field over here man I tell you what this is uh, yeah this looks good we're gonna these are these uh, Milo strips that we are had a lot of good luck at and uh, Pepper, of course, is trying to find some quail in the timber over there, as we can see. We're going to bring her back over. Come on, Pep, here. And uh, I think what we'll do is we'll just start on the end down there and start working these strips. And uh, we got a bunch of cover in here. Really looks good. So um, let's go ahead and get after it and see what she can find. Okay, okay. She just snapped big time right there okay she just snapped big time all right 
Oh, she's looking good. Okay, so we got a point here. We got a point here, okay. What do you got, Pip? Oh, I love looking at that. She's intense. We got a bird. There it goes! All right! Get a Pip! Where's it at? It's dropped right in there by her feet somewhere. Where's it at, girl? Where'd it go? Come here, where's the bird? Come on, where's the bird? Where'd it go? Come on, where's the bird? Come here, Pep. Where's the bird? Here. Get over here. Pep. She's on point again right here. There is Pep. Get it. Get it. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, Peppy. Good job, Pep. All right. Good girl. Bring it here. Bring it here. Good girl. You found it. Get it. Good girl. That bird wasn't dead, was it? Good girl. Bring it here. I'm going to make her bring it here. Come on. Bring it here, Pep. Good girl. All right. Get it here. Good job. Get a grip on it. All right. Good girl, Pep. All right. Good girl. That bird ran on us, didn't it? It sure did. So as you saw there, what happened was I searched all over thinking the bird was down. However, Pepper went back towards uh, the opposite direction and went on point again. And I was trying to whistle her back and, you know, wanted her to search that area because I sure thought that that bird was down. Well, what had happened was that bird was only wounded. It went down and it must have ran right past us. And as you saw, it ran about 20 yards the opposite direction right past us. And Pepper there uh, went back that direction, went on point again. And we were the over, uh, so I went back over there and sure enough, there that bird was laying there when you saw Pepper chased it down and got her for us. So really interesting uh, turn of events on that one. I don't think I've ever had one run past me after where we thought it was down, but clearly that's what it did. Uh, ran back there and Pep was able to get it. So pretty good, uh, pretty good job on Pep on that one. Okay, now this next, this next uh, shot you're gonna see was a really interesting, well, it was, it was a non-shot. Uh, pretty interesting, Pep went on point on this rooster and take a look what happens when this bird goes to get up. Okay, okay. We have got a point. And I tell you what, she... I'm pretty accurate so far today. What do you got, girl? We got another running bird in here. What is it, Pep? Come on, what is it? Oh, get it, Pep! Okay, so as you saw there, there was no way I was going to be able to take a shot at that rooster. Number one, it was running for a long way, and then it finally kind of got up. What you saw happen there was Pepper 
I, I think had a hold of its tail feathers and it couldn't get up and get flight. And she just could not pounce on the bird because the thing just, uh, it wouldn't uh, slow down. And it just kept going. A lot of times when the birds feel that they'll stop and then the dog will be able to jump on top of it and get it. But that, that didn't happen. So the bird got up. By the time it got up to a safe height, it was just way too far off to get a shot. And uh, uh, you know, that, that's just something I'm never ever gonna risk taking a shot when the dog is that close to the bird. Uh, you know, don't really care about it. But uh, as you saw what happened, that bird flew way about three or 400 yards way to the north of us and landed in this little patch of timber. And so what, but, but what we ended up doing is we kind of marked where that bird was and anytime you see a bird land like that, you know, you never know what's gonna happen. It, it lands and takes off and runs. And so uh, what we did was we hunted uh, for a couple of other, uh, see if we could pick anything up out of those Milo strips. Then we decided to go after that uh, pheasant again and work into that timber. But uh, so that's what we did, but take a look what happens. Okay, we saw a bird fly and land in this mess here. And uh, it looked like he was trying to land up in the tree. And he, fell down and I don't know if he's still in there or not, but it was a good looking rooster. We're gonna go see if we can get it. Could be long gone by now, but what the heck, we'll try it. Come here. Come on, in here, pap, come on. Find a bird. Come here, Pep. Come on. Here. Okay, I think she's on point right over here. Oh yeah. What you got, Pep? Boy, she's looking good. Look at that, there's a looks like it might be a wounded one. You got that bird, Pep. Good girl. Good girl, Pepper. Wow, that thing was buried down. We didn't even have to shoot. Good job, Pep. Okay, pretty interesting there, right? So what happened was we worked that little patch of timber for a good probably 25 minutes. And it was only a, probably a 40 or 50 yard patch there. So it wasn't like it was a big, huge area. So I had given up and thought, well, that bird must have taken off. And as you saw, there's a ton, tons of fields there to, where that bird can run. So we thought, well, let's just kind of start heading back towards the truck. And, and as you saw, we went running down that little patch of grass and all of a sudden Pepper went on point. And I thought, well, and, and where she went on point was probably about 70 yards down from where that little patch of timber was. Well, I thought, well, I, I guess it's possible that that bird might have ran there, but I, I really didn't think she was pointing a bird. I kind of thought, well, there could be a rabbit in there. There could be a mile, who knows what, but she was locked really hard and tight. And that usually means a bird. And so we went walking up there and it was amazing that she found that bird. The only, so as we went walking up, I'm looking all over the place. And the only thing that was left sitting there was a couple of its tail feathers were sticking out of the, uh, grass. The rest of it was completely buried and, and there was no way that bird was going to get up. So uh, we, what we did on that one is we just reached down and I, I grabbed the bird so it, uh, 
uh, you know, because I would have had to kick it and stomp on it to get it to fly. We didn't want to do that. So, uh, but anyway, really great job to pepper on that one for, um, I, I, like I said, I, I thought that bird was long gone. Uh, we just happened to go that direction. Bang, she found it. And there must have just been barely enough scent coming out of that tall grass because, as you saw, it was buried way down in there. So good job to Pep on that, and uh, that was a really good one to watch. Okay, she just stopped up here. Right on the edge, too. Got. Yeah, all right, all right. Pep's on that one. All right. All right, good girl. Get her, babe. Nicely done. Nicely just flapping all over the place. Good girl. All right. Well, hey, everybody. Welcome back. We uh, just got wrapped up our hunt. Uh, I, I tell you what, we got some really good video out there today. Pepper was really on our game, and we had a couple of really interesting things happen out there that you're going to see. And I'm going to I'm going to kind of try and narrate what happened there because I, there were a couple of things there that uh, have not happened to us before, and um, they were pretty exciting because Pepper j just really kind of amazed me today, and when, and what she did, and uh, and how she reacted, and things like that. So. Um, I think you're going to enjoy that, and um, you know we, we really had a good hunt today. Uh, the weather is warming up. I think we're in the mid 50s now. Uh, Pep didn't really look like she was getting tired at all. As a matter of fact, she rarely took any water. Um, so uh, you know she she didn't appear to that the the heat was bothering her that much. I'm sweating quite a bit just from all the walking we did, but uh, we thought it was good just to, just to get her back and um, uh, you know, take a take a break. As you can see right now, she's not really even breathing hard. She's uh, still looking around like she wants to go back out there. But uh, we're going to take a break. We're going to call it a day for today. And uh, we hope you enjoyed this episode. And, um, you know, we will see you next week on another episode of Pepper the Pointer. Hunt safe, everybody. <laughs>